I never wanted to be a superhero. When I was a kid, I, on the playground, I would watch the Spider-Man wannabe climb the jungle gym or watch little Jimmy run around in a plastic makeshift lunchroom tablecloth cape. I would be alone in the sandbox plotting. Fuck superheroes. My role models were the Joker, Lex Luthor, and the Black Manta. Like them, I wanted the world to accept me on my own terms. And like them, I also wanted an army of laser-wielding spider robots. I am the Clute, a member of the Legion of Doom and the Guild of Calamitous Intent. I've got mad scientists on speed dial, a closet full of doomsday devices. And unlike God, I do play dice with the universe. Twenty-sided dice, that is. How do they sell people on the superhero trip? Let me get this straight. I get to risk my life for free, and then at the end of the day, I have a dead-end desk job where my girlfriend's gone, my family's dead, and my friends are also dead. Awesome! Where do I sign up? No. The flip side, super villainy, though, that's a pretty sweet gig. Uh, you get those neat gadgets like the previously mentioned laser wielding spiker robots or the atomic psychofraculator. Instead of uh, the lame catchphrases like Shazam or Up, Up, and Away, you get an evil laugh accentuated by big bold capital letters that always go off panel. <laughs> Your costume isn't a lame pastel onesie, it's probably black with a majestic sweep or a classic suit with a nice trim. Instead of sidekicks with abandonment issues, you get henchmen with metal teeth. Your girlfriend isn't the prim and proper Lois Lane or Mary Jane who only puts out when you're in costume. As a supervillain, you get women who appreciate the sensitive soul behind the iron mask and 40-foot high video monitors. Richter Von Doom was a rich socialite. Reed Richards was a dorky scientist. Harry Osborne was the popular kid. Peter Parker, the dork. Anyone else sensing a pattern here? Plus, you've got focus. Who cares about solving your parents' murder and trying to fit into a world that would only shun you if they knew your terrible secret? Nah. No, for a supervillain, it's step one, take over the world. Step two, enjoy! Best of all, the other guy's bound by the rules, but you're not. Captain Sunshine can't send Wonder Boy off to die to cover his escape, but I can. And in fact, all of you are just pawns in my plans for world domination. And if I have to sacrifice a couple of you to see those plans come to fruition, well, that's just one less mouth to feed in the new world order. And I'm okay with that because I'm a supervillain. I always wanted to be one. I would laugh when little Jimmy would fall from the jungle gym to the concrete jungle below, or when he would snag his lunchroom cape on a doorknob and drop his ass like kryptonite. I wouldn't laugh because I was evil. Maybe just a tad. But I laughed because I knew they were suffering the inevitable fate of every superhero. They were chumps ready to take the fall. Suckers for living up for everyone's expectations. And they were fools. Fools? I'll show them. I'll show them all.